my name is Insane Raven, and this is another episode in Tales of the Hunts. And this is the one I tried to hack. Um, so I did a story of time on Mafia Three, and it went all right. Like there wasn't anything too too crazy about it. It went all right, and then. I noticed how close I was to getting the Platinum. So, I decided to go for the Platinum. And, wow. This game has a bunch of trophies that you can only get if you do certain things at certain times. Now, for example, the there are a bunch of trophies for side missions that you can only get if you do if you keep everyone alive. So when you do when you do your first run, because this this playthrough does require this this platinum trophy does require at least two run throughs. If you do it proper. Um so if you do it proper it takes two run throughs. On your first run through, I recommend doing a How you were dead. Like take making your pick. Because whatever, if you do a genocide run where you kill all the underbosses, you have to kill every single underboss. And you only get the option of choosing 16 underbosses to kill or to save. With most of these underbosses, if you, if you skip out on wiretapping the node where the racket underboss is, you can kill them no problem. You automatically kill two. You automatically kill the Southdowns. Um, race it. The one, the under the racket boss where they're like holding slaves. That one and your first one. You automatically kill those two. The other sixteen bo racket bosses. You have to make the decision on whether to kill them or to let them go. You have to kill all of those, all of those sixteen, and then you will get the trophy. On the reverse side, the new boss where you have to save sixteen. Ra Racket bosses, the same 16. Keeping in mind that you cannot let a single boss die. If you do not wiretap and you make the mistake of thinking you wiretap and then messing it up, you will not get the trophy. And without getting the trophy, you're wasting that playthrough essentially. And I know what that feels like because this is my fifth playthrough. Of this game. And if you recall, I said you only need to play this game twice to get all the trophies. And this is my fifth playthrough. So I fucked up a couple of times, to say the least. So on, y on the run where you decide to save everyone, keep all your underbosses alive until you go after Sal Makano. You're going to want to do all of your side missions on that run through as well. I would recommend waiting until all of the racket, all of your rackets, and all of your uh, small divisions have been taken over. Oh, Frisco Fields, this one, the uh, the racist one in Frisco Fields. That's the one I mean. You automatically kill. You do not get a choice in that. But once you take all of all eighteen racket bosses and all nine divisions, what I would do then is I would take care of all the side missions then. You're not gonna have to wait for anything. You'll be able to knock them all out really quick and you'll be able to keep everyone alive and it'll be a really easy way to get a minimum of five trophies by doing that. So there's five trophies there. There are a couple of trophies that are just really um just exploratory trophies, trophies you kind of get for just exploring the world and doing things proper in the world. Then there are the trophies for killing everyone, which is really simple. Just give all every single division goes to one underboss. Keep doing that. The other two get real pissed off real quick, and they'll let, and you'll have to fight them. So there's there those two trophies that you have to look out for, and then we're now. Now you can actually get the the uh, new boss trophies and the you can get the genocide and the pacifist run trophies. 
now they are unglitched. And that brings us to the title of this video, the one I tried to hack. Now, when I originally went after this platinum trophy, I tried to hack the shit out of it because the the new boss trophy where you flip all 16 of them and the genocide run trophies were glitched out and they were locked so i couldn't get either one of those trophies so what i would what i tried to do and it didn't work unfortunately is that i deleted the game off my ps4 and then i tried to re-download the original game keep out the other uh, patches which glitched out the trophy and try to get it then, that didn't work. Which was a uh, playthrough 3. Playthrough 4 got me the pacifist run trophy and when when I boot up the to show you guys the platinum I'll actually show you what each of these what each of the trophies actually are instead of the pacifist genocide trophies. I'll show them the actual names and blah 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 and all that. And I tried to do it then that didn't work. Then with the updates that they recently just did for the ba, 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 the faster baby faster DLC both of them got patched both of them got patched through with that however it wasn't it wasn't until the stones unturned DLC that I was actually able to capture both trophies for the platinum um, in the span of two weeks, I played the game times four and five, which was not as fun. I was kind of pissed off that I had to play them both of the games again, but you know, it is how it is. And at the end of the day, I had a good time playing this game times one and two. Well, it should it should have been very clean cut, very simple to do. 3, 4, and 5, which is disgusting. Oh, uh, I really just hated the game. I spent easily 22 hours in two days trying to get the trophies, and it didn't work. Until this fifth time where I got the, where I got the trophies. But easily, this is... This has probably been my most frustrating platinum, not because of the game, it's like what the trophies list was, but just the fact that they were anno like that they didn't work the way they should have worked, and that was one of the things that really just pissed me off about it. it just didn't. A lot of the trophies up to this point didn't work the way they were designed to until just recently. I'm counting on you to step up. But now they do work, so now you should have an easier time of doing them. There are no online trophies, which makes this Platinum way, way easier than if there were. And there really isn't anything to add other than that. So, I'm going to go jump over to the trophy list, give you actual names for the, geno uh, for the genocide. Genocide. The genocide pacifist runs and... I'm going to highlight one other trophy, which I haven't talked about yet, but was a bitch of a trophy to get. Which I would highly recommend looking up a guide, because it is a bitch, and there is no other way of putting it. So let me go hop over and do that. Okay, so before I show off the Platinum and give the other two the actual names for the Genocide and Pacifist Run trophies, recruited to the 5th SFG. Now, this has, is one of the hardest trophies in the game. And it's going to take a lot of work if you want it. If you want this trophy, there, there are plenty of guides um, on YouTube that... You can click around and try to find, but what they're probably going to tell you is to load up on Screaming Zemis and head to a police station. That's what I did for my um, trophy run of it, and it took me a couple of hours to get it, mainly because I didn't have the right gun, I didn't have the right um, 
the right aim and position, there weren't enough people in the area, or something along those lines for each time until I finally popped it. Now, I I wish I could tell you which gun it was. I don't remember which gun it actually was, but that is a trophy you're going to have to keep your eye on and keep remembering that you have to do. We go to the fifth SFG. It's definitely one of the harder trophies that could easily make or break this trophy hunt for you. Now, the pacifist run. When you do the pacifist run, you're going to have to... Where is it? Where is it? Nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, nope. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Live another day. That is a part of the pacifist run where you recruit 15 rack and informants. Important that you keep that there. And also the new boss. Those are your two pacifist run trophies where you have to save pretty much everyone. If there is a... And when I say pretty much everyone, I actually mean everyone. If there is an option to recruit a character, whether it be an informant or a racket boss, recruit them until the trophy's popped. Otherwise, it's not happening for you. The genocide runs are the no loose end trophy, which is annoying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's not a fun trophy. Um... It doesn't give you as many rewards, but it's definitely a simple enough trophy. Um, it actually requires you to do less work than your pacifist run, but that's just how it is. The other one, the other one on your uh, genocide run is going to be can't trust the rats, which you get for killing the fifteen rack and informants. You know, kind of a tit for tat thing. And then the platinum trophy is let the good times roll, and that's what it looks like. It is. Sitting currently at a 0.4 uh, rarity, and it's definitely a trophy I am so glad I have, because I don't have to play this fucking game again for a, f for a sixth time. I might have gone insane if I had to play it for a sixth time. So, that was a trophy I tried to hack, and I didn't work, because I am not a master hacker. Um, But yeah, I... I'm happy I don't have to work for this trophy anymore. I almost had like a mini like, oh, thank God it's done. When the final two trophy, the final trophy actually popped and I was rewarded my platinum. But that is all I have for this episode of Tales of the Hunt. If you guys have the platinum trophy for Mafia 3, let me know your experience in the comment section down below. And let me know if you guys thought this was an easier trophy than I'm making it out to be. Let me know your story in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye